Hi everyone, I'm Laura. Thank you for joining me today on this very massive day. It's a portal day, two, 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 two. And if you're not watching this on the day, it's still going to affect you because these energies are anchoring in. We are grounding them into the earth and they are very intense. It's actually very difficult for me to channel today because the messages are coming through very fast and they're, it's like a vapor, they're, um, I lose them as soon as they come in because what's happening when that happens is because we're meant to be integrating a lot of these energies. We're meant to be um, letting them wash through us, not having to fully understand them, understand them. We're meant to allow and receive. So it's the divine feminine energy of receiving and not judging anything that you're getting, not attempting to control anything that you're getting, just simply observe and integrate and release and move through your day. So this is gonna be a quick message, I feel, because of that reason. I'm just gonna get a few cards so we can try to ground ourselves as much as possible. We're shifting an entire collective into a higher dimension. So it's uh, this is your divine mission and calling. Especially if you watch this channel, you're a twin flame, you're getting many, many messages at all times that are telepathic, that are precognition, that are intuition, and that is what is moving you forward. You're coming into your earth magic here. You are anchoring magic onto the earth because it has been lost for so long. We've been under demonic reptilian control for way too long, the kings and queens are activated, and that is why divine masculine and divine feminine are gonna be bringing this magic into the earth <laughs> to banish all of the duality, karma, consciousness forever. Fearlessness is what's required of you. What else do we have? You are becoming something new, wings of light. This is transformation. I'm also hearing your wings are coming on. If you are a fairy, if you are a dragon, if you are an angel, if you are a Pleiadian, you have whatever version of wings are yours. And that is your light body. It's not about, some, some of you actually have wings, but it's about the energy field around you that announces you I'm really seeing like Game of Thrones. I'm seeing Khaleesi riding on her dragons. We really literally are riding dragons. We are able to do all of this. It's not a make-believe uh, fantasy novel, fantasy TV show. Um, teleportation is possible. Everything is possible. And if we have had the download, whether you call it science fiction or whatever, that's the real world. That's the real truth. That's really what's possible for us. Wisdom. And we know this. And that is what is coming online for you. Your DNA activations, what's coming online, is the truth of your power, the truth of your magic, the truth of what is possible. We're stuck in these human bodies. And we were stuck in duality consciousness in the third dimension. Some of you have had these twin flame activations with the swans here. When you are activated by a twin flame, it's accelerated ascension. You are blasted out of your old human avatar and you are expanded in your consciousness so fast, so rapidly, so dramatically that you have no choice but to either run towards this feeling of newfound uh, growth and expansion and or is too overpowering, too overwhelming. You feel this loss of yourself loss of control, loss of everything, and you run away from it. So that's the runner chaser thing that has happened with twin flames. No longer is that going to be happening because everyone's gonna be running towards this feeling. Everyone's gonna be running towards ascension, saying yes to ascension. The ones that run away, if you're a divine feminine watching, or if you're a divine masculine who ran away from a twin flame connection, it's because Intuitively, you knew your old self was gonna die. It's like you're, you're, it's a fear of death because you're running away from an inevitable death if you go towards this connection, this, um, what it's gonna bring up for you. The journey. So, let's get a 
few cards from this deck and see what messages we have to expand on. You have to be completely fearless. You have to be completely unafraid. You have to be outside of your comfort zone at all times, never fully knowing what's going to happen. That is the way it feels to be in fifth dimension earth. You become comfortable not knowing anything <laughs> for sure. And you start to, you will start to know your truth. You will start to have these awareness of truth. Door to romance. Love is very powerful. Love is the most powerful energy. It's the only thing that's real. Love is what guides us into fifth dimension earth. Let yourself feel the most, um, oh, let yourself feel the most out of control in love that you have ever felt in your life. And you're starting to get there. <laughs> if I just saw five, five, five. Okay. Take action. I'm hearing unbridled action. I don't even know what that word means, but take unbridled action toward what makes you feel the most love you've ever felt in your life. And you'll be on the right track. Angel of balance. These connections of your twin flame, these connections have been out of balance. The energy of the earth has been out of balance. The crystal grid has, has been out of balance and is starting to balance out now. We're starting to get the higher light codes from the sun coming blasting in and that's balancing everything because we've been ruled by the darkness. We've been under reptilian agenda. We've been disconnected from source energy, from solar energy, and that is what is balancing in. Yin yang balance, union. It's all here for you. It's all here for the taking and it's your destiny and it's your calling and you are getting, you know this. I'm seeing all these master numbers here, 33, 22. You are the ascended masters. You are destined to be larger than life because we are larger than life. Embrace, as you saw 717, embrace this. Uh, okay. It's a big message today, so I'm just going to leave you with a Starseed Oracle card and keep this short and sweet. <laughs> I'm actually going to go pick up my new cat today. I'm getting a, a king, bringing a king home. Whether my Divine Masculine King would like to come home is yet to be revealed. He knows who he is, and I am always sending him love. As a Divine Feminine, send your masculine love, but also give love to yourself. Don't continue to send them too much love. They got to love themselves. You love yourself first. And if you have anything left over after you are sending love to the collective, if you're doing your service work, you're constantly giving and giving, don't forget to also give to yourself. Big picture thinking, Pleiades energy. Your visions are going to be coming true. I, I feel this in the energy. A lot of you are seeing what's happening, seeing what's to come. A lot of you are getting future messages. We are becoming fifth dimension beings on this earth. And fifth dimension beings know every possibility, know every timeline, know what someone's going to say before they say it. Read energy, read what's, what's unspoken, read what's unseen. And this is the portal here. And this is the doorway, the archway, the gateway. I'm seeing a lot of you coming into union under this archway. I'm seeing the scene in Westworld where all the robots were walking towards the portal so that they could live forever. And if you've watched that show, I'm, you probably are familiar. So we're leaving behind the timeline of the AI. You are not choosing that timeline. You are choosing the timeline of ascension. You all, all you have to do here, this is the message, is say yes to ascension, say yes to the journey, say yes to yourself, and come home and lead and guide. Uh, they want me to pull an archetype card, okay? So, I, you know, I don't actually control these messages. I just let the guides who know more than I do let me know what to do. <laughs> and it feels like, hmm, that's just my purpose in the new earth. I feel like we all have our own individual unique purpose. 
But the overall overarching theme of it is to let yourself be out of control, be out of your comfort zone, let your heart out of this cage. I'm gonna go get my new cat, Severus. Let him out of his cage. <laughs> uh, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I had dogs and my ex got my dog in the divorce. So I've been without an animal for a little while and it's not a good feeling. So I need to have an animal and I'm getting, getting a cat. So, God. Okay, that's why they want me to pull from this deck. Embrace that you are gods and goddesses in these human bodies. If there are spiritual teachers that tell you you're not a god or a goddess, that's because they're afraid of power. And I'm, we're not afraid of power. Power is source. It runs you. It is not a toxic phenomenon. Because what happens is the matrix, it's all programming. The matrix has programmed you to be afraid of power, to make you feel that you'll be vulnerable. I just saw 1111. If you step into your power or you will abuse power in some way, there's so much programming about this. That is so that the reptilians and archons have ascended into power, uh, taken it, not ascended. <laughs> we are ascending into it. We are chosen, we are stepping into our destiny and that is what is shifting everyone because when kings and queens and gods and goddesses step into their power, that's when the old duality matrix loses its power. So you are Avengers. We're here, we're balancing the scales of justice. And uh, that's it. Society will be fundamentally changed one way or another after today and moving forward. So with that, I am sending you all much peace and light and Godspeed. Take care.